Here we'll have a look at the several options when visiting and sightseeing the center of Athens, whether it's a guided tour, a walking tour, a bus tour, or even a Segway tour. The historical center is quite compact. You can walk through it within a couple of hours easily. However, there are many winding streets and sights to see and you'll easily get lost if you don't have a map or haven't done your homework. The best yet most expensive way to see the city is with a private guided tour. Bus tours are more affordable and easy. You just get dropped off at the sites and provided with a licensed tour guide. Some hotels and travel agencies offer walking tours. That means they take you to the site, but once there, they usually refer you to a licensed guide or your guidebook for more information about the monuments. The rule is that only a licensed tour guide can show you around. You can find them near the archaeological site and negotiate a price with them according to the size of your group. If you want to zoom around ancient Athens effortlessly, you can try a Segway tour and roll to all the sites instead of walking. Quite a different way to see it all. Now if you want to conquer Athens on your own, you'll need a good map and a good plan on what you want to see first. It is a good idea to watch our videos on our web TV or to read up on the sites you're visiting beforehand so you don't miss anything of importance. Several monuments are included in the Acropolis integrated ticket, but you'll need to carry some extra cash as most museums outside those sites have their own entrance fee and do not accept credit cards. If you are a European Union University student or under 19, you have free access to most sites, but make sure you carry a valid ID. As many other popular cities, Athens also has its double-decker bus tour, designed for sightseeing on which you can buy one ticket and hop on or off at various stops as many times as you like in one day. They continuously circle the ancient center, so they are very convenient for seeing the city and getting around you'll spot them near Sintagma Square. There's also a smaller train that drives around the innermost part of the ancient center, pulling a half dozen railway cars. They start near the Roman Agora. It is quite ideal for kids of all ages and takes you through the winding streets of Plaka, Monastiraki and Tision on your way to various ancient sites. It also works on the hop on and off principle and is one of the cheapest ways of getting around the very center of Athens. Now if you plan to go out on your own, we advise you to check online to find out the opening hours of various sites. There's a free entrance on certain holidays and in the winter months some sites close as early as 3 p.m. so check ahead. While you absorb history, the shops, cafes, restaurants and hundreds of interesting, talkative, hospitable Greeks will definitely make your day in Athens unforgettable. Well, that's it for this edition, but do search on Web TV if you want to see more. Bye!